It's a story you'll see only on 10, and it came to us from the NBC10 inbox. A sandcastle controversy on a local beach. A Barrington town official reportedly calling a little girl's creation a hazard. He apparently ordered her and her father to tear it down. The family upset and left wondering, didn't that official have something better to do? NBC10's Parker Gavigan headed to the beach to dig deeper and joins us now with both sides. Parker? Patrice, this dad tells us he drew a line in the sand, standing up to a town official who told him to tear it down. But that official says, look, this was no ordinary sandcastle, about three feet high and posing a risk. Mia LaRue walks to Barrington's town beach, red wagon in tow, her tools ready to go. It's time to make a sandcastle with her dad, Michael. It's what father and daughter were doing on Saturday when all of a sudden Michael hears someone yell. He goes, you got to tear it down. He goes, it's a public safety hazard. Public safety has it's a sandcastle. John Taylor, the town's recreation director, didn't like what he was seeing. It sort of looked like a big fish, you know, and it had boards sticking out of it. It's a big, huge mound of sand. So, yeah, it was just the idea of the, the liability. You know, someone falling in a hole and we're getting sued. It's kind of a gesture, you know, can you take it down for me, you know, please? LaRue says he heard the request a little differently. You gotta tear it down now. So I just asked myself a very, I basically asked him a very simple question. Uh, do you have nothing better to do but to harangue families on the beach building a sandcastle? I don't think it was that heated, but, you know, I think both of us, you know, were kind of stunned at the replies. Let's put it that way, you know. Could cooler heads, you think, prevail? I don't think it's about cooler heads. I just think it's, you know, it was just a shock of, hey, you know, someone asked you to take it down, and his thing was, why would you ever ask me to take it down? And sorry, it got to be this kind of an issue. It shouldn't have gotten this far. LaRue says he left the castle, later destroyed by the town, away from his daughter. Seven-year-olds, they see everything. And she looked at me and with eyes welling with tears, said, Daddy, thanks for saving my castle. And LaRue says the tide would have taken care of the sandcastle, but the recreation director disagrees and tells us once it was broken up, some of the wood had nails in it. Live in the studio tonight, I'm Parker Gavigan, NBC10 News.